may one cut one's nails on Hulo Shil Mo'ed, as, um, as stated in the, in the Rambam? Yes. Well, <clears throat> I will quote briefly from Rambam. Um, Rambam does write in Ilkhoth Yom Tov Perek Zayn, Halakha Kaf, Tar, Mutali Tol Safa, Mholo Shel Mo'ed, that is to say, one's moustache to trim it, one can do so, one can uh, trim one's nails, par one's nails on Holosh and Mo'ed. This is the opinion of the Rambam, but not only the Rambam, this is also the opinion of the Reef. It is also the opinion of uh, Rabbeinu Avraham ben Yitzchak Avbeth Din, who was the, happens to have been also the father-in-law of the Ra'avad, often confused with the Ra'avad, but he was a tremendous hacham in his own right. He is the author of the book called Sefer HaIshkol, which is an interesting and separate discussion, but it's a very amazing and wonderful book. He was a, a tremendous gaon and uh, held in great uh, great uh, awe and and uh, with great regard by all, all Rishonim who came after him. It is true there are some uh, Rishonim who disagree. The Reef even mentions an opinion uh, that said is it is it a sur, but the reef rejects that opinion. And I think the halakha is that it is mutar to par one's nails on your on holomoid. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one, if you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org. If you are inspired by Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to get involved in Torah Eretz Yisrael activities in your local area, please fill out the relevant form by going to the link which appears on the screen.